What's the right to food? The right to food is an entitlement to enough affordable, safe, nutritious and culturally diverse food on a regular and permanent basis to allow for the pursuit of an active, dignified and rewarding life free from dietary-based disease. It's a fundamental human right contained in several international treaties to which the UK is a signatory, including the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights or the Convention on the Rights of the Child. In 2017, Labour MP Emma Llewellyn Buck proposed a private member's bill requiring the UK government to monitor and report on food insecurity. The bill never had a second reading in Parliament, but since then, another Labour MP, Ian Byrne, has been championing the right to food more broadly to encompass both legislation making access to food for all a statutory requirement enforced by a new independent regulatory body as well as more local campaigns to address the root causes of food insecurity in the UK. The most recent Food Foundation data indicates that almost one in five households, including 9.7 million adults and 4 million children, have experienced food insecurity across the UK since the start of this year. For Right to Food campaigners, these stark figures are the outcome of political choices associated to a punitive benefit system, the underfunding of school meal provision, and support of a food system stacked in favour of big agribusiness and supermarket interests. In addition to this, research conducted as part of the Food and Work Network emphasises the centrality of work and workplace organisation of time in conditioning the quality and quantity of food consumed in households and communities. Shift work, zero-hour contracts, workplace terms and conditions, household reproductive labour, that's shopping, cooking, cleaning, feeding, leisure time and even lunch breaks, among other everyday work and time-related practices, all condition what, how, where and how much working families across the country eat today, be it in urban, small town or rural settings. In short, the right to food has shifted from a mere call for the enforcement and monitoring of international legal obligations to a wider political campaign seeking to radically transform our food system. Changing working patterns, reforming the benefit system, improving everyday working terms and conditions and raising wages are all part of the solution. But so are more immediate changes like the funding of a year-round universal free school meals, reorganisation of public food procurement to meet social and environmental standards, or the replacement of food banks with a national network of community kitchens and affordable food clubs. All of these conceive of the right to food as an expression of citizenship where people have greater control over their participation in the food system.